No survivors. Three fatalities. We're pulling the last one out now. Yeah. What happened? I can't yeah. believe they didn't follow the permit. It's happen. Scenes like this just shouldn't happen. And yet every year, across many types of industries, workers enter confined spaces much like this one and didn't get out alive. Our safe work practices and procedures, coupled with safety training and sound decision making, are designed to prevent this type of needless tragedy. But despite the procedures and despite the training, scenes like this are still all too common. During this program, we'll explain what happened here and how these lives could have been saved. And in the process, we will explain why entering confined spaces can be so hazardous and how those hazards can be controlled by following proper confined space entry procedures. So what is a confined space? The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, defines a confined space as any area that isn't designated for continuous occupancy that is large enough for an employee to enter and perform work, and there is limited or restricted means for entry and exit. In addition to being hard to get into and out of, confined spaces can pose hazards to workers, such as fall hazards.